this gentleman sent over the pictures of a new extension that he, he had built and these are the pictures as it was being built and he says that he's getting cold inside yet he's got a warm roof um, and uh, there's there's drafts everywhere so let's just have a look at what's going on I think the first thing you should look at on this is the pitched roof on the front behind this pitched roof is going to be a flat roof and there's your flat roof this flat roof is formed as a warm roof he says that when he goes into this loft area here and looks in he can look down inside this area and there's movement of air all inside this area which means there'll be movement of air inside that area as well so what we've got to make sure that we understand here is that if when you, when you look at the way this is, was built here there's an overhang on the front and there's your overhang on the front so the wall uh, at the back there must be over the flat roof at the back and there's this open triangle that runs all the way through so let's go and have a look at that as a diagram on a whiteboard so if we draw a, some joists for you if we put that as your joists running across there like so and we put your ceiling underneath it well it doesn't really matter where the ceiling is underneath it there's your, your man underneath it. Now, you've, you've basically got a warm roof, as you know, but the thing is that you've got this triangle at the front. So if we put this triangle on at the front, like so, and uh, let's give it some depth. Okay, so that's your triangle at the front with, with your tiles that sit on the roof, like so, and your gutter that is sitting on the end of that. Now, this all overhangs the building. So coming down here, you've got your cavity walls, which is like so. And inside your cavity wall, you've got your thermal insulation. Now, let's put your thermal insulation up here. Okay. And we put your thermal insulation in there. Now, the problem that you've got is that you've got air movement going into this area and that air movement that is going in there, so you've got air movement coming in from underneath here and you've got air movement in here and that air movement is getting in between your joists and running all the way between the two or four or twelve joists, you know, this extends up. You said to me that you can look in at the other end of the roof there and look down. So the problem is, is that how do you solve this problem? Well, of course, if you were to block this off at this point here and put some kind of thermal insulation in between your joists and bring it down there, yeah, that bit there, you can stop the, the air from here moving in and going across into that area there. But you've still got this cold section here. And it's an unfortunate way that this has been built. Realistically, this should have been built in a different way where this extends right the way across over the top there. So that insulation should have gone underneath there like so, right the way across. So this insulation could have gone up there and then you've got a continuous across and down and then you're nice thermally warm underneath it with that flow of air coming through there and any other venting on the top. But the way that uh, it's built at the moment, it's really, it's really difficult to do anything with this now apart from completely taking it apart and dismantling it. Um, but, you know, obviously you've got a problem there. I, I should imagine if you took the ceiling down inside um, and then addressed this from underneath here, you could probably do quite a lot with that. Hopefully that helps. Speak soon.